Walk us through this, the decision to join the staff here and become an assistant coach. Well, it all came together quickly. Uh, uh, spoke to Steve uh, yesterday morning, sorting it out. It said I have to run it by my wife uh, before uh, uh, I did that. She gave her blessing and uh, uh, went on the ice with uh, Pinto for a little bit. And then after, uh, called Steve back and uh, uh, you know said I would love the challenge and uh, uh, try to help out. Is that is this considered a challenge for you? Well, it is for sure. Uh, I mean, I've been around the team uh, uh, most of the year. We've had a lot of home games. We've been home a lot. I haven't traveled before, but uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, you know, I think we have a, an exciting group. Obviously, uh, the result hasn't been there. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, uh, change that going forward. Did the sample size in Sweden give you a little bit of a taste for what you might be in store for? I mean, it, it is. I mean, you're right in the action. It's, it's, uh, you see how fast it is, uh, uh, how quick they have to make decisions. You appreciate it uh, uh, differently than when you're sitting up top and watching. Uh, the game is really easy and slow. Uh, so, so this is, uh, you're right there in it. Uh, it's the next, next best thing uh, to being a player. Daniel, you joked after Sweden you might have a heart attack if you, if you had to stay behind the bench. Uh, how do you fight the player emotion of being back there and remember that it's the coaching emotion? Well, I mean, uh, I haven't coached at this level, but I've coached uh, uh, you know, youth hockey, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty good in uh, handling my emotions. Uh, uh, you know, the players, once they're on the ice, I mean, we, we can help them in certain areas, but they're, they're doing the work, and uh, we're, uh, or for me, it's just I'm just going to be there to support. What do you see as what you are able to offer in this role? <laughs> Well, I think uh, from experience, uh, I think the, the emotions of a game, the ups and downs, uh, that you stick with it. I think we have struggled a bit with when, when we're having a moment or, or a stretch in a game where we're uh, 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 hemmed in our own end, we don't respond great all the time. Uh, how to handle that so we don't uh, dig ourselves deeper in a hole and, 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 and can get some uh, or change the momentum. Uh, stuff like that, I think, will be uh, uh, where I'm most useful. What do you remember from as a player, your interactions with coaches? Like, which ones did you like that were lasting impressions? Well, the, the not, like, necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily the coaches, but just the, the messaging. The ones where you were winning, obviously, it's the message. But it, it's uh, uh, you know consistency uh, in the messaging. I think is very important. Uh, they know uh, what they're getting from the coach, uh, uh, no matter what your style is. Uh, you, you're not different from game to game. Because uh, I know how it is. I mean, you, you're a lot of nerves before every game, especially in today's league. Uh, uh, the period in the league is so good. It's tough to win games. Uh, so you, you really got to make sure you're ready every night. And, uh, uh, you know, for us as coaches to, you know, make sure that when they do get caught up too much sometimes in the emotions to, to calm them down. Does it make the transition to coaching a little easier when you're coaching along somebody, a familiar face in Jacques Martin? Oh, for sure. I mean, I've been around Jacques a long time. I know what, uh, uh, what he stands for, what, he, uh, what message he brings, and uh, uh, I feel very comfortable being, being uh, uh, on his staff. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously we, we had uh, uh, a lot of success and, 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 you know, making the playoffs year after year after year. And uh, you don't do that if you don't pay attention to details and, and, uh, uh, and get everybody playing for each other. How confident are you as a staff that you can sort of iron this out and, and turn it around? Well, I'm confident. Uh, and and uh, like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to, to the challenge. Uh, I, I think we, uh, it, all mad, uh, it all depends how you measure success as well. I think for us, uh, uh, our goal right now is to, to, to become a more uh, uh, stable team over 60 minutes and not have so many ups and downs. Uh, if that translates into losses right away or wins or, or, or losses, we don't know. But I think the message is going to stay the same and uh, in, the, in the end we're going to get where we want to get.